Good afternoon. Today I'd like to explain that the area under the marginal cost curve is equal to the variable cost. Let's assume that total costs equal variable costs plus fixed costs. And I have a function that basically says that variable cost is x squared plus 1, which is fixed cost. The marginal cost curve then is the first derivative of the total cost function, which would be 2x. And my variable cost curve, just to repeat that again, would be equal to x squared. So now I'm going to put them into the calculator. Here I have x squared, which is my variable cost. And here I have 2x, which is my marginal cost. And I'm going to graph them. This curve here represents my variable cost. This curve here equals my marginal cost. Now I'm going to shade in this area here so I can figure out um, the area underneath of it. So I go second, calc, go to seven. And now I've got to choose that I don't want the x squared, but I want the x, the 2x. And so now I'm going to define my lower limit as 0, my upper limit as 5. And I have now shaded in that area. And as you can barely see, that shade equals 25. Uh, at a unit of 5 then, that area here is 25. This area here then would be 25 as well. And I've got my cursor going up there as fast as I can go. You can see there's my little cursor going right there. And I'm moving it as fast as I can. I'm now there. I'm going to go all the way up to the top. And you can see now that y equals 25. Very esoteric topic, one that I've always wanted to do, and so I just did it. Hope you've enjoyed it.